prender el micro, por favor. Micro, por favor, prende. Micro 2. Micro. Esta es una noche muy especial porque tenemos en México a Paris Hilton. Así es que, bueno, todos estamos emocionados y preparados. ¿Cuál es el motivo de su visita? Ella es una grande amante de México, como lo hemos visto en otras ocasiones que ha estado presente. Así es que esta noche no es de excepción. Así es que recibamos muy calurosamente a Paris Hilton, quien ya se acerca. Ya viene desde el escenario después de haber presentado esta gran noticia en que la joyería Nice será parte de su colección también. Así es que. Estamos emocionados. ¿Cuánto falta? Five, four, three, two, one. Are we ready? We're ready. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are we ready? Is she coming? Is she close? Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and ask the questions. I'm just gonna receive her here, and then you're gonna go ahead and, and be with her, right? So, yeah, just this is like a warm up. Bienvenida México, Paris Hilton. Un aplauso de todos. Hello, beautiful. Hello, guys. Great seeing you. Good night. We're so happy that you're in Mexico. We know that you love Mexico. So we want to know two things that you can never miss when you're in the country. Never miss. Well, I love all the people here so much. So it's so great to see just all my fans. I took a plane at the airport, and they're all there, and they're holding signs, and they're just so excited. So I love that. And then, of course, The food is just so amazing here. I love it. I always miss it when I come home. What do you like from the food? Tacos? Yeah, of course. I like tacos, quesadillas, nachos, guacamole, taquitos, rice. Oh my god, this is a whole menu. Welcome Paris to your press conference. It's so, so nice to have so nice to have you here. Big applause for Paris Hilton. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> When we had our meeting in Los Angeles, I just immediately saw the connection they had with their family and just hearing the history of the business and how it's a family business and they were just so kind and lovely and then they started telling me just about all the women and single mothers that this business helps and they're able to have their own businesses which I thought was amazing. And also they told me about this big event and how much they give back to charity. And that's something that's so important to me is giving back and doing impact work like this and helping change people's lives. And that was very inspiring to me. And then they also just brought these trees of jewelry and they were so beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, like I want this one, this one, this one. I started wearing them. And right away, I knew that I wanted to do a partnership with them because I could tell that they were good people who just want to do good things in the world and also bring some sparkle. Bueno, todo empezó en Los Ángeles cuando tuvimos una una junta con eh, esta empresa que es Nice y al darnos cuenta de que es una empresa familiar y todo lo que lo rodea, todas estas personas, todas estas mujeres trabajadoras, todas estas madres solteras que forman parte de Nice. Eso hizo eh, algo que movió en mí y que me hiciera querer colaborar con ellos. Me enseñaron todas las piezas que tenían, me parecieron hermosas. Yo quería esta y la otra y la otra, quería absolutamente todas las piezas de Nice. Y bueno, eso fue lo que me movió a trabajar con ellos, ya, ya que para mí la filantropía es algo muy, muy importante. Y colaborar con una empresa mexicana, que es un país que me gusta mucho, eh, es algo que me llena. Thank you, Paris. And was there any particular inspiration behind the jewelry line as well as the pieces that you're wearing today? Paris, ¿cuál es la inspiración detrás de la colección que hiciste con Nice y la joyería que traes puesta hoy? I was just I'm very inspired by a lot of the jewelry pieces I have in my closet, a lot of the Y2K iconic jewelry that I used to wear all the time, and just from my traveling around the world and just seeing so many beautiful things. And I really wanted to make something of this affordable luxury so that everybody could be able to enjoy it and have a piece of Paris with them. And tonight I'm wearing the gorgeous earrings from the collection as well as 
the stars bracelet. I love this so much. It's like, it's so chic, and I've been wearing them all the time. All my friends coming up to me like, oh my god, where did you get that? Like, I designed it with nice jewelry. So I'm so excited for everybody to see this new collection. I'm so proud of it, and it just is, fits me so much and is iconic. Bueno, para mí me inspiré mucho en lo que tengo yo en mi guardarropa, sobre todo en las tendencias del año 2000, y para mí fue algo muy inspirador, ya que lo que yo quiero es crear una colección eh, que sea asequible para muchas personas y que ellos puedan tener una joya de Paris Hilton. Eso me parece algo muy lindo y estoy muy orgullosa de poder diseñar esta colección para Nice y para todas las personas que las van a usar en el futuro. I know that Paris, you travel all over the world. Just this week, Paris was in uh, Paris, Miami, and Mexico. What do you love most about the people of Mexico? Paris, sabemos que viajas eh, por todo el mundo. Esta semana estuviste en París para la Semana de la Moda, luego estuviste en Miami, y ahora estás aquí en México. ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta de México y de su gente? What I love most about the people here is that they are so lovely and kind and Every time I come here, I just feel like I'm coming to my second home. Everybody is so, just makes me feel so special, makes me feel so at home. I love how everybody loves their family so much. Everybody loves amazing food and like music. And even just being in Miami at the Latin Billboard Awards, was that last night? Or the night before? <laughs> okay, the night before last. Just how the energy, like everybody just loves to celebrate each other and everybody is, is just so kind. And I always just love coming to Mexico City. I've been here so many times and I love my fans here so much. They're so dedicated and just amazing people, just beautiful people inside and out. Me Hi Raul, I'm in Mexico. <laughs> me encanta venir a México. Lo que me gusta de México es su gente. Lo que me gusta de la, las personas en México es que son muy calurosas, son muy cariñosas. Para mí México es como un segundo hogar. Ahora que estuve en Miami, estuve en los premios Billboard, eh, yo veo cómo la gente me quiere, cómo los fans tienen este cariño por mí y yo amo a mis fans también. Para mí estar en México es algo eh, muy importante. He venido muchas veces y sí puedo decir que es uno de los lugares en los que más me gusta estar. And community and family has been such a theme that's been evident through this partnership and through your previous visits to Mexico. I know previously you have spent time supporting the earthquake victims, as well as rebuilding homes and donating food and goods and of course your time. And that was evidently clear today. In partnership with the NICE Foundation, we had the opportunity to visit the Children's Hospital, the Civil Hospital of Guadalajara, the cancer ward. So I want you to just tell us a little bit about what that was like and why it was so meaningful for, meaningful for you to take that time. Paris, we know how important it is for you the sentiment of community, and we know that you have involved before in projects eh, socialmente importantes como ayudar a las víctimas del terremoto 2017 y ahora de la mano de NICE pudiste visitar el nuevo hospital civil de Guadalajara en la planta de cáncer. Platícanos un poco más sobre tu experiencia. Every time I come to Mexico, I always make it a point to come and do something to give back. And going to the hospital today, it was very emotional because it's just very hard to see just children who are in pain but to come there and be able to bring that sparkle and see smiles and with the mothers and the parents who are there, I just can't imagine seeing my child go through that. So to be able to bring them some light and love is very special and I really feel that God gave me this special gift to be able to make others feel happy and also to use my platform and my voice to make a difference and raise awareness because there's so many important causes that people should know about and people should be able to help and I feel like that's one of my duties in life that I've been given this gift and I want to be able to give it back to others and there's no better feeling than being able to bring light to someone and just see that in their eyes, just see just a, a sparkle in their eye and it's something that with everything I do that's the thing that 
makes me the most happy is when I'm helping others. Bueno, eh, cada vez que vengo a México, yo siempre quiero dar algo a cambio. Y eh, esa visita al hospital fue algo muy duro, porque ver a niños que sabemos que están sufriendo es algo muy difícil. Pero por otro lado, me, me llena mucho saber que puedo sacar una sonrisa a, estas, a estos niños, a sus familias, a sus padres y madres. Y en este momento tan difícil que está pasando, creo que yo nací eh, en, en una postura muy buena en la cual tengo una voz y a través de mi voz puedo llevar un mensaje, puedo llevar mensajes a todo el mundo y crear conciencia de todas las cosas que hay en el mundo en las que podemos ayudar. Entonces me llena mucho poder llenar estos niños por lo menos con una sonrisa y poderles ver un brillo en los ojos.